oracle cards are not like tarot cards, but they're another form of divination. Where tarot cards are a fixed system with 78 cards, major arcanas, minor arcanas, and so on and so forth. Oracle cards can have many names, many artworks, many pictures, and they're very, very different, and they're fluid, and they're current with what is going on in your psyche um, or in your life at a given time or in the past. Instead of being predictive, like saying, this is what's going to happen, and, um, you know, these are all about um, putting things into being, um, you know, known as manifestation and growth and um, more spiritual in a way of empowering you and giving you a prescription with different symbols in different um, frequencies of color and different phrases. Meaningful coincidences and synchronicities come out of when you pull a card. Define oracle cards. Choose cards that you're drawn to and you may be drawn to other decks at different times. Um, and if you go to colorbaronreed.com, you can choose your own cards. Um, and so, when you get these, there's a guidebook, and it basically has an introduction, how to work with the cards. Um, you know, I would recommend um, taking that section with a grain of salt because you decide how you're going to do it. Um, but definitely read the introduction so you know about the author because that's really, really important to know why he or she, you know, made the cards what they're for and, and what the deck is about. And um, read the guidebook. I think that that's the biggest thing is um, reading um, the guidebook and come with a question or an incentive of a question. Um, not a yes or no question because it doesn't make sense naturally when you're asking questions to um, the cards. Um, ask a question like, what would the result be if I do this or what do we need to know about this particular thing um that's really um the thing about asking and no these facilitate the conversation between you and the higher power and let me just say that a higher power god or whatever you use is not something that is up in the sky that is looking down on everybody on earth. It can be, but then then we would want that concretized and then we want to choose a gender so and so forth. It's the thing about Christianity, like if only there was an all faith minister, you know, where it doesn't matter what religion you are, you're all connected in that thing. And really you know, God is all around us and everything, and there is divinity within all things. It's not the cards against all those things. It's the cards, you know, theoretically making you more aware of what is going on um, around you. And so there's several decks, um, the first being the Woto deck, the Wisdom of the Oracle, which is like talking to your higher power. There is the Enchanted Map, which is all about purpose and all great deck to turn to if you want direction. Um, Wisdom of Avalon, if you want very friendly guidance and 
help on your journey, the seven energies to get in alignment and meditate with, um, you know, all the seven energies, which include courage, abundance, gratitude, letting go, um, so on and so forth, your authentic self. Um, and then there is the spirit animal deck really connecting you with nature and animals and things that are naturally um, going on um, around you. And every animal has a um, spirit and um, is a teacher. And you can hear that in my song, uh, Mighty Eagle, that it really, really goes with that theme. For example, the butterfly represents transformation from the caterpillar to a butterfly. Um, you know, the eagle is all about letting spirit be your guide. That's kind of what that song was talking about and so on and so forth. Um, so that's what I will say. Um, and yeah, I believe that this is the basic gist of Oracle Cards information. I can't promise you that there'll be another thing about this, but I hope that you got a lot out of it. Thank you for watching.